Hmm, could be a good sunset tonight. Hmm, but then again, maybe not. Ooh, it's so hard to tell if it's worth going out to shoot. Here's an easy way to tell if something is worth doing. Just do it. Opening credits. Greetings home slices and welcome to Pro Photo Tips. My name is Josh Cripps and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. In this series of videos, I'm sharing seven of the best life lessons that I've learned by being a photographer. And right now I wanna talk about those little nagging doubts that we all get when trying to decide whether or not something is worth doing. A lot of photographers, myself included, spend as much time talking themselves out of shooting as they do into shooting. I get it, your time is valuable and you don't wanna spend it on a wild goose chase or a wild light chase as a case may be. So you start to ask yourself questions like, how are those clouds looking? What's the weather forecast say? Is the storm gonna break in time? Where's the best place to be? Ostensibly questions like that aim to help you make an informed decision about whether or not to go shoot. But the hidden purpose of those questions is to cast doubt on the idea of shooting in the first place. After all, once you start to ask yourself a dozen questions about whether something is worth doing, more often than not you say to yourself, meh, I'll just not do it. But in my experience, it is damn near impossible to actually predict what's going to happen, whether it's with good light in the sky or with any other new experience. So you should just go out and shoot. Just do it. Let me give you a case in point. When I moved to Santa Cruz in 2009, I lived in an apartment with an ocean view, very handy for checking out the conditions on the coast. One day it had been raining incessantly all morning, but when I heard the rain stop in the afternoon, I went out to check out the view. It was still completely overcast, but there was the tiniest, merest, itty bitty little tiniest bit brighter strip of overcast right above the horizon. And then I literally had a 20 minute argument with myself over whether or not it was worth going out to shoot. In the end, I decided to go, and this is what the conditions looked like when I got to the beach. I can hear you all cheering with excitement. Yeah, it was pretty gray. And the part of me that wanted to stay home was doing a little victory dance in my head. See, I told you it would suck, I was telling myself. Still, I had come all the way to the beach. There was no way I was just gonna go right back home. So I decided to look around and see what I could find. I headed down to the south end of the beach and found these cool mudstone rocks I'd never seen before. As sunset approached, the sun slipped into some unseen break in the clouds and the light began to do this. As the sun continued to drop below the horizon, it lit up the clouds in a combination of magenta and pink that I have yet to see repeated. Suffice it to say, I stood on watching this with my mouth agape like some slack-jaw yokel. At least I had the presence of mind to click the shutter button a couple of times and I came home with this photo. The moral of the story here is clear. In photography and in life, it's easy to talk yourself out of doing something. But you never know what the experience is actually going to be like until you try it. So just do it, because you never know until you go. As always, thanks for watching. You can see more in this series here. For tons of free photo tips, answers to your questions, recommended gear, and much more, jump on the Pro Photo Tips newsletter. And for the best in in-depth photography and processing courses on the web, head over to the Nature Photography Academy. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.